back to you. Okay. Are we doing this now? Yeah. So if you go upstairs to the, the main relay and put the uh, the tube in it, um, it'll uh, it'll let us start up the power. Install the tube fuse. Good job. <laughs> How did that happen? Both of you may want to stand clear. I get the feeling something really bad's about to happen. That looked like a jigsaw trap about to start up. Yeah, it did. Oh man, what's this charge gauge, I wonder? I hope it's not a weird mechanic. Oh yeah, you remember this, don't you? I do remember. The switch is covered with rust. I'm gonna press it anyway. You'll get tetanus that way. Just touching rust will give you tetanus, folks. You gotta be real careful about it. I see you got the gate open. Ought to be able to look for all manners of ways out now. Well, the lights are on, the passage ain't so bad. But let the charge drop and some fierce beasts start coming out of the dark. Opening this gate probably took the charge down some. That gauge ought to show you how much charge is left. What gauge? What are you talking about, sir? To climb ladders, press the action button. Hmm, how about 30%? About 30% to operate something the size of these gates, I'd say. Who knows how many more of these gates guy got down there? You look for switchboards, you ought to make your way through. Alright. This section's great. Once again, why do they front load the gimmicky stuff at the beginning of JRPGs? This should have been like a mid game dungeon. Not in terms of difficulty of enemies, just in terms of design hey, principles. Who turned out the lights? Well, that's going down fast. Yeah. I've heard of these mimics. They disguise themselves as all manner of things, then strike when you're least wary. Some of them have a fondness for energy, I'm told. They gorge themselves on the stuff till there's naught left. So, um, what happens then? What do you think happens then? Lights out. And it's worse in the dark. Much worse. So, let them get too What was this creature? Those that was a ghoul of some kind. Dry. Or a zombie. But don't worry. It'll give the energy back if you ask nicely. Sticking it with a sword helps too. Clock's ticking. How does that work? <laughs> Who cares? So you actually, in some cases, using the fast forward is going to be very beneficial here. But you may also, like, you're going to need to be able to very quickly ascertain that's the one that's draining energy and kill that one to release all the power back out. And you got to do it quick-like. So, uh... You gotta be careful. Remember, if you want to direct somebody else to attack one enemy or the other, you you can do that if you'd like. Um, right now, I think you're. I think right now, both of you are just auto targeted onto the ghoul for some reason. What the heck? I don't know why I did that. Maybe his maybe his gambits are set up to target closest enemy. We should probably double check that and make sure he's not doing anything you don't want him to do. Oh yeah. Ooh no. Let's change that to um uh, to near uh, party targets. Uh, yeah, party leader's target, that's right, uh-huh. And then that's just, since you are the party leader, that'll be whatever you set. Yeah. Nearest visible can be useful. I like to set stuff like, once you get the more complicated gambits, like, you know, attack enemies with this percentage of HP. So you have, like, one person who's on designated clean up the last 20% duty, while everybody else goes and does big damage to other people. Right, okay, now, there's, all, there's a chance that all these are gonna be mimics, right? Yeah, some of them turn into mimics. All right, now it looks like the power the power is draining, so that means there is someone around here somewhere who's eating power up. So you got to go find him and kill him. It feeds on energy conduit. Well. I I love the MMO uh, action feed that they have there. Make sure you know what's going on. Of course. All right, everybody, focus on this dude, uh, please. Oh, poor Bosh. Please? Can we get him a sword or something? <laughs> well, I was about to say we were at a store. Fine. Right. Can you get him a dagger? Can you give him one of your daggers, please? There is no, in case you're wondering, there. because I, I, I thought about it, you can't equip anything to him right now. Yeah. No, I'm saying, but like in the story. Like, Absolutely. We were in a, like, there was a store. You would have thought that he'd at least, like, bargain with Okay, the like, only thing is that now that he doesn't have nearest, target yeah, nearest visible, right. you, every time that you want to do something, you've got to tell Balthier to target them manually. That's fine. I'll get used to it. Hey, you know, friend, oh, hold on. Actually, you, uh... here's a thought. Sorry, this will be, this will be really, this will be really simple. Okay. I need an extra gambit slot. Where's the cheapest gambit slot possible? Thank you, both here. You're cooking something up, but I don't know what. It's that not. Is. It's not that complicated. Don't worry. Basically, I'm just gonna set so that if you aren't targeting anybody, he'll just target someone. That's smart. But if you That's target smart. someone specifically, he'll continue to target them. Okay. And just, just gonna, just gonna. Freshen up a little bit. Sure, right. Sure thing. Sure thing. Whatever you like. You're good, aren't you, boss? Yeah, you're fine. He's got. He's got 150 out of 300. Nah, he's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, nothing is ever gonna drain between loading zones, which is a godsend, but uh, as soon as you get into an area, there could be like three mimics eating power, so you gotta be you gotta be on that pretty quick. Please? They're, they'll, they, they all initially targeted whoever you were targeting, so now they gotta all rethink about it. Maybe we should take that off. We'll see. We'll test it out. As long as, like, as long once you get into the habit of just, like, as soon as something dies, mashing X just to target something, anything, that's fine. But, uh, it's like as soon as he gets, oh, he just, he just regained some energy because he ate more. Good stuff. Yeah, you may, you may actually want to take off my clever idea for, like, right there, that was great because he just turned around and immediately targeted the other guy. But a second ago, they all ran off after somebody else because you didn't target somebody fast enough. So, like, it's not perfect all the time. Got to be careful with these things. Alternatively, you just turn off Bosch's gambits entire. I mean, Balthier's gambits entirely, and uh, just control him manually. Could we could do that? I'm not recommend. I'm just saying it's a possibility. No, I see the electricity up ahead. Hey. Yeah, I don't super. I don't super adore this place in terms of its placement in the story. I think it's got a decent little gameplay gimmick where it, you know, kind of makes you rush through faster than a JRPG typically would. Um, but I don't love that. Number one, it's placed so close to the beginning of the game when you're still just kind of getting used to the mechanics. And number two, that it is placed immediately after two other dungeons that you can't leave. Like, there's now been at least, like, a depending on how fast you're playing, there's been, like, a couple hour stretch here where you're where you're in mandatory dungeons and you can't go back out to the overworld. Like, that's the first... If you're playing this slowly, that's the first shop you've had access to in a couple hours. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, that's, a, that's a dead end. You want to go around the other way okay. to your left here. We don't need to worry about exploring... Oh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the map. You may want to bump fast forward back on. Nothing's getting drained right now, so we might as well just go ahead and blast through all these battles. My main thing with the, with the, uh, like, on one hand, fast forwarding is great because, you know, you'll just get to your spot faster, but I'm also afraid of, like, you know, you run right, you blow right past a guy because you're going so quick or whatever. Uh, I guess kill this guy. Does it matter? Which way do we go? Uh, I, this, I think, I think going speed. forward is the best option, but now he's running away from you. Okay. If you want to let him go, you just go straight. Yeah. Now you're good. I believe this is the correct path anyway. There's treasures around, but, you know, nothing we need. Now the power is being drained somewhere. Okay. I believe somewhere it's in the room up to your right. Um, or is it, maybe it's that guy through there. He's sitting stationary, and he's a red mark. He's the only, okay, no, he's coming back. Did it just stop draining? That's strange. Okay. Okay, no, hold on. He just keeps respawning from that, the, like, yeah, you need to go back. Hit, 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 uh, hit square. Hit X, I mean. Oh. And target, target something. That's Mimic C. It's at Mimic C is draining. You gotta go back over there and kill him. Wonderful. All right. Boy, oh boy. All right, whatever. Okay. You gotta hold it down to continue fleeing. Oh, well. oh but he's come out to face you. Good stuff. No, well, I didn't expect him to run to a plug. He was picking a fight. It's weird. He ran off and then he specifically picked a fight with us. Yeah, that was strange. The AI in this isn't perfect. And he kept, like, did you notice on the minimap, he kept warping back to... Yeah. Like, he kept leaving to fight you, but, like, he was scripted to be there draining the power until engaged. He didn't know what he wanted, really. Do do any of us know what we want, really? No, not really. That's very prevalent in the game. <laughs> or evident in the, in the game. In the game scene. Is this... That's one that's somewhere where it could be drained, okay. but there's no enemy there, so good. good. Is this way? Uh, I think you have to go both ways anyway, and there's a minimap coming to drain power. Wonderful. Thanks, dude. I'm pretty sure if you go straight, there's a gate that you can't go through until you go around to the right, if I recall correctly. You can go straight if you like. I could be wrong. It could be just adventures off to the right, but I'm pretty sure everything is mission critical. Try going straight first, just in case I'm wrong. All right. I should have sold all my loot, too. Not that it matters. We don't need any money down here. But I just didn't think about that. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit a gate that is closed down. Okay. Come back! Maybe he does that to, like, refill some he health or whatever. Like, yeah, maybe. maybe. That's what he's scripted to do. Yeah, so even though we don't have any gambits set up, keep in mind Fran has fire, which is probably the best uh, damage output you have right now, and she has slow, which is just gonna, you know, it's just generally helpful. Slow and haste are pretty, like, are pretty effective in this game, as you would expect from most, you know, action time battle games, but uh, it's definitely, definitely worth your time. And these guys are definitely worth your fire time. Okay. Because these guys are weak to fire. I mean, you know this. You played enough Final Fantasies. Flans are always like weak to uh, 
weak to magic over physical, but these guys are very specific. We are weak to fire, so you're uh, like you're set if you just hit them with some fire. They're dead immediately. Okay. Oh no, in 15, it kind of throws the rules out the book because there's a bunch of different ones that are weak to a bunch of different I don't even books. remember. I remember the bombs that were all elemental. I don't even remember Flans in Final Fantasy 15. In dun there was specific ones in a dungeon. I believe you. I just don't remember I got soft-locked in a dungeon because I didn't have enough... Like, it was, it wouldn't take any physical damage, and we were out of magic. Look, I remember a lot of things about Final Fantasy 15, but uh, certain dungeon crawls weren't among them. Yeah. I don't like what the camera does sometimes. No, it's not It's not fantastic. This is still a 2006 PS2 game. Also, Bosch is dead. Okay. That's just, fine. Just for reference. That's fine. He was dead anyway until five minutes ago. Get it? Get what I did there? I do. That was, that was a reference to how he was supposedly executed for assassinating the king. Okay, so he doesn't come back. No, you gotta toss the phoenix down on him. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Well, or, you, or, you know, use a raise spell on him or whatever else, but uh, it's under items. Yeah, I'm just... Cure one. Oh, you're curing everybody else. Okay, that's fine. All right. Because I'm not looking so good right no, now. No, not great. Now, another, another way to do this, I'm not saying you should, but just, like, talk about high-level tactics here. You can just go into into her gambits and just say, hey, cure all, and she'll just cure everybody until they're full health. I'm not saying you should do that, just saying it's an option. Okay. If you want if you want to cast a few more cure spells, or if you want to use F ball fear, I got him that potions lore. If you toss a potion on Vaughn, that'll probably do you good. Uh, if both if both here specifically uses it, if both here uses no flip over, if both here uses the potion, it'll do more. It'll restore more health. That's oh, that's Bosch. Both here, my bad. Yeah. Okay. There you go. If so, he uses it, it'll restore more total health. To anybody? Yeah, anybody. As long as he's the one using it. Okay. See, we're we're relearning for like the third time. Like t typically, that gives you all, that does a hundred restoration. It just did a hundred and forty-four. Okay. Cool stuff. What is... Oh, okay. He's off to get in a fight. He's ready and raring to go. I don't think I've ever been rolled... I, I know I rolled I rolled a monk once in this game, technically speaking, and it was back on PS2 action replay style, baby. And it was... I just I just maxed out Vaughn's attack power and got him the gamma that boosted his attack value barehanded, and he was just running around drop-kicking everybody. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, it, was, it was fun, but uh, it was not exactly, you know... A, a good good tactics when you aren't cheating but of course if you like cheating then it's great and i love cheating it's my favorite dude, thing to it do it doesn't no dude it ruins the experience though right sometimes depends that's the whole thing is uh like do spoilers ruin movies and tv shows or not to some people i think that's dumb I, uh, here's the thing. If I think that your experience was damaged irreparably by knowing something was going to happen ahead of time, that means that the piece the, the piece of media wasn't good enough in the first place. Because, like, the best stuff is going to become richer upon viewing it another time. Yeah, but, I mean, of course, like, you know, like, you don't want to start P4 knowing, like, who, who the killer is. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously. And there's certain... There's certain things where I like I, I would never go around just telling some like oh I don't care if you don't want to know spoilers here are the spoilers but it's just like on on certain things my like all I, I especially I think this is because I've spent so much time examining Kingdom Hearts lately uh -huh. it's no it's it's very specifically like the structure of Kingdom Hearts two is very much like upon repeat playthroughs it's like okay um why am I doing any of this. <laughs> Once you like, cause it's, it's all like mysterious about what's going on and what what who everybody is, and then once you have a like the big picture, there's huge sections of that game that just are irrelevant. I mean, as as you've already Watch noticed yourself. in our playthrough, you were like, wait a second, what are we doing right now? <laughs> Why are we doing any of this? But uh, a lot of, typically the game moves fast enough and is fun enough that people don't notice that until Up or down. a second playthrough. Uh, I don't know wherever we're the guy's draining power from. Over there, there he is. You found him. And there'll be a button in here somewhere to open that gate and let you proceed. Hasn't been a mimic yet. Nope, hasn't yet. Maybe I'm eventually. Sure I'm not complaining that we missed him. Saves us time. Saves us money. And we could have also, I don't know if the store back there had it. The store may, may very well have had a target. If enemy is weak to fire, use fire. And that's another thing you can do to really speed things up, is to, uh, 
is to just equip like what weakness specific uh, things. Like, see, all these melee okay, weapons yeah, are doing is... nothing to them. Yeesh. We were able to take one out pretty like quickly earlier, just doing it like this. Guess we got lucky. Is this the one? It should be. Covered in rust. Now you just gotta head back out to the main room and go through that gate. Okay. Loud's down from the south. The gate is open. Fantastic. We're gonna we're gonna test their luck. Yeah, that's right. Wait, Bosch is dead again. I didn't even notice. <sighs> If we bring, no, don't waste your time. There's a save point right up ahead. Okay. Once we go through that gate, there's a save point, and I think you need to go back down from here. All right. All these rooms look the same. You no, know, they absolutely do. I concur. Um, if he's green, don't mess with him. Is he green? Yes. No, I mean if his health bar is green, leave him alone. Okay. Whatever you say. Means he's that means he is peaceful. That means he ain't gonna bother you. You don't bother him. Bombs won't be like that forever, but they are here for some reason. Hey, I'm fine with it. So we don't really have a good way of dealing with bombs at the moment. It reeks. Something's close. <clears throat> nice moves there, Captain. You mean traitor? So they say. But I didn't see him kill anyone. My brother did. Uh, Rex. He said he had a brother two years younger. I see. He meant you. Your brother. What became of- He's dead. I'm sorry. It was you who killed him! I give you my word. That was not the way of it. discussion for later. We found them! But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Sir, we have no, little sir. time. You must I go to the tank. They're slowing us down. Captain and for these. my parents. Captain, why? Our king, have you done? His majesty was a traitor. Twin brother. Fancy that. Hmm. But still, the pieces fit, I'll give you that much. And he did look like you. I don't believe you. Why does he wear have a Quake logo not. on? It don't worry about it. Rex was there. The dude he looted I was a fan. Sorry. My brother, he trusted you. He trusted you and he lost everything. How can I believe you? Not me, then. Believe in your brother. He was a fine soldier. He fought to the last to protect his homeland. No. Surely he fought to protect his brother. You don't know anything! Believe what you want to. Whatever it takes to make you happy. What's done is done. All right. Oh, and he's just back now. Who is? Oh, cutscene. Cutscene allowed for it, so we're good. I was gonna. I was. If the cutscene didn't revive him, I knew that you know, save Crystal would. Go into because he probably has new menu art now since he has a new costume. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh... No, he doesn't. Never mind. Okay, he still he still just has punished Bosch art. He goes through a couple redesigns. He has one more. He has one more design after this one. That's his final look. Yeah. There oh we no! Go. There we go. You finally found one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh, there's one draining power in here somewhere, though. Is that where we're gonna... Oh. There we go. There you go, you figured it out. I solved the puzzle. 
Man, he got that one did not do well. <laughs> no, he did. I think we have a severe boost to our general DPS now that someone actually has a sword. Oh no! Oh, they're starting. They're starting to get thick with it now. Maybe we should just start ignoring chests. Yeah, let's just. I, I think we're. I think we're at the point where a lot of them are going to be mimics now. Let's just go. We're almost out of oh, here man. anyway. We have like two more rooms. Yeah, these guys are just getting destroyed. This is kind of a big room, but there's nothing here that I'm really particularly concerned about exploring and finding. There's kind of a whole like section off to the left that's, or to the right that's kind of neat, where it goes out kind of over the water, and it's just big. There's this big underwater lake down here. If you look to the left, it's just I don't know. It's just it's just generally cool art design stuff that I like. But uh, there's nothing here in particular. What are all we those need to down. I don't know. Uh, Pyreflies. Sure. Wrong game. I don't know. It's bio. Uh, they're either they're either airborne bioluminescent fungus that you shouldn't breathe in. Or they are uh, some kind of insect, firefly, whichever one you prefer. Do you find fungus gross, or do you find bugs grosser? Some I, I would absolutely 100% say the fungus that I can inhale is much grosser, but some people can't stand bugs. I so, don't really uh, care about either, honestly. Really up to you to pick your poison, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we can't go through that one right now. You just gotta keep going up the hill. We are almost out of here. We got, we got, like, one more room and a boss. I do not remember the boss here. It's a it's a big mimic. It's okay. a big mimic that births little mimics, like the queen from Alien. Oh, boy. Aliens, if I'm being, to be specific. The queen isn't in Alien. It's in Aliens. I apologize. Somebody would have gotten on to me for that in the comments section. The queen isn't in Alien? It's in the sequel? Clearly, Jacob has never actually seen the films. Of course. Clearly, he's not a fan of video games. I'm not a fan no of wrong. Alien video games. Oh, there's not that many good ones. There's, like, one. Maybe, I'm sure there's another one. I'm sure there's been plenty of them. That one of them had to be alright. One or two of them must have come out okay. Colonial Marines wasn't. Noah Gervais did a video on, like, all of the Alien games, and then he did, like, a separate one on uh, on Isolation. And I, I watched the Isolation one. No, no, I, no, I did. I, I watched Aliens versus Aliens versus Colonial Marines versus Predator versus Colonial Marines. It was, it was some ridiculous <laughs> name like that, and it was all of the Alien versus Predator slash Con Colonial Marines games. That was a while ago that I watched that, though. I don't remember what he thought about the earlier ones. I just remember that he did not like Colonial Marines. This one's pretty. I, sh I should have remembered it. Oh, they're eating a lot of power. It means we, the gates are closed. Now we have to kill this big guy. Oh, boy. Okay. So, so, I don't even remember if maintaining the charge in here is important. I guess we could always... We could always see. kill the small ones, but I think more come out. Oh, dude, since they're really, since they're like, since they're tiny, they have almost no health. What you could do is you could just make like, you could designate Somebody. Vaughn to just go and kill all those guys. Okay. Um, let's see what we have like for options of foe. Like, so highest HP makes sense, like just to target the bosses. Um, we'll flip to the next page, see what else we got. Lowest. HP? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Or lowest level also works. My set it for lowest level. That then we then we, then it's guaranteed to go for the right guy. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, gambits are cool. Yeah, hopefully that'll work. There we go. Yeah, see, look, now he's targeting the okay, little guys. good stuff. Mimic Queen. Now, unfortunately, Vaughn is out of range of the other one, so he's targeting the big guy. But if you switch him over, like, if you tell Vaughn to go and attack one of the other guys, he'll go out of range and he'll go after them. Because he's still, he's still attacking the big one. So just send him after one of the tiny ones. There you go. go and I'll forward. hopefully get him. I'll hopefully get him out of range and he'll target who he's supposed to. He's coming or back. <laughs> well, it's almost dead, so it really doesn't matter. Oh well, I tried my best. I tried my best to come uh, up with a strategy. It worked initially. He killed Ball. Okay. He killed Bosch, but uh, that's it. All right, Bosch, you did fine. We can probably finish him without. Uh, oh, maybe not. That could do a lot of damage. We could be in trouble now. Uh oh, you're almost dead. Uh, I would I would advise have rapid healing. Okay. Nope. Okay. And I'd have Fran cast a cure as well, because uh, she seems to not be paying attention for some reason. Uh, have Fran cast cure on herself. Cure and, or just give her an item? Uh, just have her cast cure on herself, and then just... Or, no, no, you know what? Hold on. Have her cast fire on the boss and have both of you keep attacking it, and hopefully you'll just live long enough, because it's almost dead. Okay. This is fine. There we go. We're Whew. fine. Whew, okay. Did it. Oh, Balthier dude. and, and uh, sorry, Bosch and Vaughn will not get experience, but who cares. 
Oh, this is this is just temporary, so it's fine. I say that. Do you even get experience from bosses in this game? I would assume. I don't uh, know. I think it might be similar to Kingdom Hearts, where you don't actually get experience from bosses. Kingdom Hearts Two, that is. After Kingdom Hearts One and Chain of Memories, bosses just give they give you standardized bonuses. They don't they don't level you up. I th I don't remember if they give you because I don't I'm like I'm trying to think have I ever seen the level up chime after a boss and the answer is no so unless they just don't give you the chime and it happens off screen. To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. Where are we? The Esther Sand, by the look of it. Let's back to Ravenasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me, but that does not free me of my charge. Alrighty. Now, we could, if, if I was playing this for realsies, I would say, uh, oh, oh, I forgot, no, never mind. I always forget that there isn't a teleport stone here. I always forget, because I'm always like, let's cheat it and just teleport back to uh, the city, but we actually can't do that. See, look, he just talks like a normal human being. Yeah. Now, there's a, there's a whole sub-quest involved with there are people trapped in there you can go back and save later, but that's much later in the game. Anyway, we want to uh, head to your left. My left? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess not quite yet. We have to, we have to head over to the... We have to head straight first to get to a ramp to take us up on the top of this cliff. But generally speaking, geographically, we want to head left. Like go up there? Yeah, exactly. Okay. If you if you open up the map again, we're heading back to Ravenaster, which is back in this direction. Oh, it didn't, uh, now the full thing is gone. It was there a minute ago, I promise. Yeah, I saw it, said that. To go, it said to go this direction. I swear to God. Yeah. If you just want to hold down run and blow past these guys, you're more than welcome to. Because <laughs> uh, we are, this is like, we're fine. Health wise, like experience wise, we don't need anything that these guys are offering. And your door's right there. There you go. Yeah. I think you got one or two more zones to run through um, to get back to the city. The one thing that's nice about having all these low-level enemies here is you can... So, like, the whole way that the loot system works is you chain together the same breed of enemy. And once you get... Like, you may have noticed that when we kill things, like, a little chain notification appears. It basically has to do with how many enemies of a specific type you've killed in a row. And the more enemies of a specific type you kill in a row, the, la the rarer the loot they drop. Okay. But, of course, the rarest level of loot from a basic wolf is still not all that great. But, hypothetically, you can come out here at a high level... And just just keep running through dozens and dozens of wolves and do serious damage. He's he's a he's a friendly hunter. Wait, but why why can we attack him? Because he can join you in hunts. You can't attack him. He can he can help you fight monsters if there are monsters in this vicinity. Okay. Yeah. So he's he's a clan hunter who's out here uh, looking for shenanigans. But yeah. So this is where this, this is this the area we were in with Pinello earlier. Seems like a Moogle almost. A little bit. More like the traditional design for a Moogle. I guess, I don't know, it looks a little bit like the Moogles from this game, too. But yeah, so this is where we were with Pinello earlier when we were doing all that, the stun zone shenanigans. So uh, you want to head... Or... Which way are we going? I think you want to go north. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other direction. Close enough, though. Remember, you can hit uh, hit the stick in, and you'll get the uh, kind of the map overlay. Okay. You won't be able to see the full thing, but you'll see. Oh no, you do pretty, wow. you pre see pretty much the full thing, more cool. than enough to get you where you need to go. Right, it's a yeah. shame that they don't show dots on this map overlay, but it's no big deal. What were you gonna say? What dot? Oh, you're talking about like enemy dots yeah. or anything? Yeah. Uh, it's fine. It might get cluttered that way. Well, I guess this is already pretty cluttered. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking at the screen right now? You were gonna say something, and I cut you off the comment on dots. I, I do not remember. It is okay. It wasn't super important, I'm sure. Okay. We made good time through that place, if I didn't say that already. We, we, did, we did a good job in there. We might be able to get farther than I was expecting to. And we're back. I thank you. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. They're doomed people in this town. The Resistance will surely find me soon. Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now, too. Stay low for a while. What about the stone? Do as you like. That stone's ill-favored. We feel regret. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanaster a while. Do you now, Fran? What do you think? Can I trust Bosch? 
Is he talking to the stone? I don't know. I gotta get rid of this thing. <laughs> I love that. No, Bosh, no, both of your can't have it, but I gotta I got ditch it as fast as possible. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. I'm not giving both of you the satisfaction of taking this, but I can't be caught with it. There we go. There's a teleport stone on the left, which is what I always forget isn't outside of that mine. Which is a normal save point, but you can also spend teleport stones to teleport. And I would have just had us warp back here, but uh, doesn't matter. Too late now. So yeah, we want to head to Miguelo's shop to go and show Pinello, hey look, I am, I got something out of the palace. Oh, and also I'm not in prison anymore. Yep. Alright, let's see how long it takes me to find it. Shouldn't be too long. Shouldn't be, since I have this map. Is it over in the actual, like, district? Of... Yep, mm -hmm. it is an actual store. Okay. The question is, do you remember what Miguelo sells? <sighs> no, not a bit. You chose correctly. Hey. <laughs> he has the general purpose item shop. I did good. We're on pace for world record. Vaughn, is it really you? I heard you got took off to Nalbina. The Imperials will need more than a dungeon to stop me. You broke out of a dungeon? Whoa! Hey, try and keep it down, would you? It's so refreshing to hear an actual know, child an voice actor in a video game. Uh, Absolutely. Maybe. Nope, haven't seen her all day. Not like her to up and skip out on work like that. Miguelo's not here either. He went running off somewhere a little while ago. So much for my big welcome. I guess everybody's busy. I got my hands full watching the shop, and old Dallin had something for me to do, but I can't get away. Old Dallin, huh? Tell you what, I'll go see him for you. Really? Well, nothing better to do. Both people scratched back their heads at the yeah. same time. Synchronized scratching. No, I don't. I like. I appreciate that they got a kid to play kites. Um, but he's not the best child voice actor ever. However. There is a much more important child character in this game who has a fantastic voice actor, who I thought we wouldn't be able to meet today, but actually we're making such good pace that uh, we're going to do quite well for ourselves. Um, yeah, you want to head to Lowtown, which is these stairs on your immediate right. Okay. You just passed them. Uh, it's literally t actually immediate right. There you go. Okay. And we're going to meet with, uh, we're, it's the information broker guy. Yeah, I remember old Dallin. Mm -hmm. Dallin, Dallin. Old, old Dallin, I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Doesn't matter. He's the old guy. And he's uh, just one? straight ahead, yeah, straight ahead. He's that he's that little marker on your on the right on your map, I think. No, that's not right. I was incorrect. Is that it? Let's check it out. No, it's not. Okay. Is he? Where is he? He's that one down at the bottom, I think. Maybe. I think that's right. Let's check it out. Man, if I'm wrong, we're gonna we're wasting a lot of time here. Listen, dude, we're not wasting any more time than we would like if it was standard, at least. I guess you're right. Having this speed up is super good. I didn't even play the original, but I, like all JRPGs need to be like this. There you go, cross that bridge. This is it. I was freaking out because in my head I was thinking there's stuff to the right of his place, and that map didn't show anything to it, but I forgot it was just like, it's just kind of, the, the ambiance next to it is cluttered enough for it to occupy space in my brain. Hey, Dolan. How high are you right now, sir? Well, well, look who we have here. Heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it, Dallin. Here, look at this. It was all worth it for this my, my, thing my, I found. Quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter churl than first meets the eye. Van Ivan a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No. No, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's... that's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Hey, Dallin. Do you think I could get you to do something for me? I need you to find out where Pinello is. I wanted to show her what I got from the palace, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Can you let me know if you hear anything? You can just leave that to me. Thanks, Dallin. 
What an upstanding citizen. Yeah. And so it is done. But will it be enough to remind him of what the Order once meant? Now, unfortunately, as much as I like to talk about how tight this game's script is in a lot of places, I complain a little bit ago about the interrogation scene being totally pointless. And I'll also complain that that last bit of exchange there was totally pointless because Dolan is not going to find out where Pinello is. We're going to find out independently. Also, Dolan has now essentially exited the game. Really? Yeah, he will. he will show up for some side quests, and if you want to talk to him about the game, like his dialogue changes, but that is his last voiced appearance in, That's in the game. That's a shame. Yes, He's it is. He's a cool guy. But it's another, it's another like indication of how much of this game got restructured around Vaughn, where like a lot of these things that happen in the beginning of the game, this these street level occurrences, have no relevance to the rest of the game. Um, but anyway, you, you want to talk to that guy to get let in here, because it's not an actual room; it's just it's a cutscene room. Okay. I'm supposed to deliver something to a man, name of Azalius. This is the place, right? And who was it that told you? Old Dallin. He said that I had to give this to him personally. Does nothing get past that, Dallin? He has ears on every wall. Alright, get inside. But not a word of what you see or hear in there. You got it? Then what do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? Just to be really clear, uh, the Marquis and Andor, that is the Marquis Andor, who is the gentleman who was the narrator at the beginning of the game, with the reports that he was writing, like the history of Ivalice or whatever, and he was saying, I decreed, I to the people of Rabinaster talked about, uh, Bosch has been executed, Ash has committed suicide, all that kind of other stuff. So he's some yeah. kind—he's some kind of public figure, and he made the formal announcement that Bosch had been executed. But he hasn't. So now they're saying, "Well, is he was he lying, or is this a trick, or what's going on?" Okay. In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar. <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. <sighs> Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? <sighs> I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's dumb. Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. Does that ever happen again? That happens one other time in the whole game. <laughs> nice. And it involves one of the same two characters. Good. <laughs> That's right. Amalia's in the Resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbina. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you. <sighs> I love Bosch. There was actually, so there was a, um, uh, a game studio called Grin. They were Swedish, I believe. They went out of business because the couple games didn't do well, and then they were working on a project for Square Enix that uh, tanked. They didn't ever actually come out. Basically, um, Square came in and looked at what they were working on and asked him to revamp the entire thing, and they were like, uh, but, but we have a budget. And so the project <laughs> just got canned. They made a bunch of stuff to then get paid for it, and then Square was like, we don't like what you've made. We're not going to pay you. Oh, um, boy. But basically, they were working on a direct sequel to this game, 
um, code name Fortress, and uh, it was gonna be Bosch was gonna be the main character. Oh dang! It was just like it was like this year long epic of this these ancient ocean gods that were coming up out of the sea, and you had to build up and maintain this fort and fight them off every month at the equinox. Not the equinox, the full moon. A lot of kids lost their parents in the war. Mine, mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I live with my friend Pinello and her family. Then, then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. It was the Empire. My brother trusted you. And he was right. Whoa, there were images on screen that matched the things the characters were talking about. That's crazy town. If this had been not a non-fictional universe and that had just been like, you know, a Nazi flag or something, you wouldn't have even needed the dialogue. Also, you just passed the place where you're supposed to go. Oh. You actually walked in from the exact right direction. You're going to the tavern, which is the uh, the, the, the keg of booze that you see there on the mini-map. Yeah. I don't... If I recall correctly, the plague, whatever it was, never comes up again. It's basically it's just, just... It's there because Japanese stories have to have every, kids' parents yeah, dead. Everything's or, ruined. It's either the kids' parents are dead or they're working overseas right now. They're yes. going to be out of the house for long enough for antics for some girl next door to move into your house and she's actually <laughs> magic. You're going upstairs. Okay. Upstairs. Where you get to see uh, Han shoot first. I mean, both here do something. <laughs> As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it took Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vaughn. They've taken Pinello. And there was a note. A note for this Balthier. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. It's Begamnon. He was in Nalbana. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why, I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujaba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there, and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you. Huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with a Marquis, by chance? Both here. Just take us, and this is yours. The gods are toying with us. Uh, make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right. And now Magello walks out of the game as well. No, really? Yes. No. Yes, it's so obvious this game got massively restructured. <laughs> At least the opening of it. There's like old Dallin and Magello both just vanish. Anyway, so he wants to go to the airport and meet up with him to go and save Pinello. Um, I'm going to stop the recording for just a second so we can go on a shopping spree and not waste time on camera doing that. That's a good idea. Okay, great. Alrighty, both here should be in here somewhere, and we can. Uh, he will. Uh, we'll hop on an airship and leave. Uh, get out of dodge with him. Um, the uh, the only Where thing. Am I on the map, is... I'm. I'm blind. Oh no! Right you're, you're inside of this. You're inside of that oh. room right there. You don't show okay. it. Like this. This room is not displayed on the map. You're, it's like it's just an interior space, unfortunately. Well, hi there. Vujeb is on the sky continent in, uh, of Dorstonius. I don't think they ever say that out loud in the game. Good. Uh, and the magicite mine we're looking forward is in Vujeb. If we're going to save your girl, we start there. Are you ready to leave? Uh, yeah, I'm want, ready. Do we want me? Sure, why not? What's in going on, What's Bujerba? in there? <laughs> don't get out of Dalmasca much, do you? Vujeb is a small city-state that thrives on the export of particularly fine magicite. It is ruled by Marquis Ondor, who, by staying in the Empire's good graces, has managed to stave off an Imperial invasion. Alright, we're good. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You should realize once we left, we won't be back for a while. No, we're good. I just did shopping, I messed with gambits and equipment, our characters are much more powerful than they should be. We make for the Lusu Mines in Bujeba. 
Seems I took on more baggage in Rabanaster than I'd planned. Well, let's save your girl and be done with it. Come on. Look at that clack, that, sorry, that clock. Not a clack, I don't know what a clack is. Like a clacker? Like click, an explosive device? Click, clack, the gun comes out. Hey look, it's it's uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke with this is Han story. and Chewie Sexy Chewie. come to see the Millennium Falcon. She airship enough for you. <laughs> the Strong. You really are a Sky Pirate. Well, the Headhunters seem to think so. What's a good word? Is she ready? So is she armed? How fast is she? Could you take the free? I suppose I could tell you, but... Wouldn't you rather see for yourself? Hmm? Yeah. Fran, our course. The shortest way is over Dorstonis. Okay, there, they said Dorstonis out loud. That's my bad. They do say it out loud once. Oh, she's free as can be, for now. I took notice when they announced the princess's unfortunate suicide in your untimely execution. If it becomes known that I'm alive, the Marquis will lose their favor. They try to steer clear of such things. Right, it's time to fly. And no wagging tongues or you'll like to bite them off. I'm coming. notice how much Vaughn's outfit looks like the default Monster Hunter gear. Like the you're not wearing anything. Like you're not equipped with any armor right now. So in a neat little twist of fate, uh, this scene was censored in the Japanese version instead of the other way around. Which is to say the scene was removed entirely because this game came out around the same time that like some serial kidnapping murders were going on. And so uh, Pinello locked in an attic with uh, handcuffs on was not considered to be in good taste. They like to censor that sort of thing, like, timely. Like, um, school days, they didn't air the, first, the last episode for a few weeks because of some murders. Well, I don't think anybody really missed too much. No, but I don't know, dude. Well, you say that, but it's it's a story, all right. <laughs> It's an experience. No, it's say. school days. It's an experience. It's school days. Shut up. It's, an experience. it's no Doki Doki Literature Club, okay? By the time, by the time this comes out, Doki Doki 2 will be out. We need Barthi alive. His corpse fetches but half the bounty. A tender beaten. My specialty. There's no fun for it if we can't tease out a scream or two. I feel kind of bad for talking over that scene because I like it. But I guess I like most scenes in this game, so. Yeah, fair. Where are you? This next scene I'm much happier to talk over because there's no dialogue. What's the subtitle for um, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club 2? Doki Doki DD LC 2 Just Monica? Just Monica. Just no else. DDLC DLC. I get it! <laughs> I get it. Clever joke. Or maybe it's just another club. Maybe what is it gonna have the same characters? No, 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 no. Uh, it's, it's gonna have new characters, but Monica's gonna be there. It's gotta be a different club. It's gotta be a different type of club. What's another club they could have? What's another club that starts with an L, so it just retains the same uh, like abbreviation? <sighs> Latin. Yeah, sure. You know, do, do we write Latin poems now? Language. Little sisters. I mean, it's, if this was Japan. That's my point. I'm saying it would give it would give them a whole new platform to rail against uh, anime I'm sure tropes. there will be, like, a sister character this time around. Are they actually working on a second one, or are no, you joking no. around? No, uh, they're, like... they're not, but I know that he's gonna, working on something. He has to be, but like, there's no point. Like, sequelizing that game is pointless. Oh, he's I coming right at you. He was coming for you. I gotta go. 
He moved over to follow you oh here, too. Oh, my gosh. A strong mist want? prevents teleportation. There he goes. All right. Anything we need to do in here? Nah, we can leave. We should leave right away. Yeah. So originally, I thought we were actually going to end this ramble when the Strahl took off. I thought that would be a good little, like, and they're off to adventure. Check out the rest of the game if you're interested, but we actually have time. And there's plenty to, uh... of game left. Don't worry, people. <laughs> this is... <laughs> we're not going to run out of game to play anytime soon. This is the tip of the iceberg. Hey, look, it's the Cloud City on Bespin. Nah. That one's even nah. looser than normal. Oh, I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines? Then please allow me to accompany you. I have an errand to attend to there. What manner of errand? What errand? I might ask the same of you. Right. Come on then. What? Excellent. Do me a favor and stay where I can keep my eye on you. Should be less trouble that way. For us both. So what's your name? Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm Lamont. Don't worry. I don't know what's in that mine, Lamont, but you're in good hands. Right, Bosch? Why are you touching him? You just met. Dude, the last conversation we had before we took off was about how we can't let anybody know that Bosch is alive. Who? What a screw up. What a screw up. I he wonder why people name. don't like Vaughn. He doesn't he, he, they should have come up with an alias for him right away, but they never did because the that because the let's keep the lid on Bosch being alive plot point goes out the window very soon. Very nice. We just we just going to get Oh, no, we're not. Sorry, but this way is closed on the authority of the Marquis. Why? Wouldn't you like to know? You're going right. you're going to bang right. Yeah, I guess it's straightforward now since the camera kind of turned for you. I uh, check the item, check this weapon shop and see if they've got new stuff here. I, I feel like they have, they've upgraded the wares since we left Rabinaster, but I don't recall for sure. What do we got what did that dude say? He what said some kind of made up fantasy word. Ooh, a new, a new, um, uh, type of katana. Is that an improvement? That's an improvement for Bosch. Uh, yeah, let's get it. Yes, okay. let's do it. We don't use the mithril blade, which is the thing he was handed in the cutscene, so he never got to use it, but that's fine. Uh... Anything else we need here? Uh, that bronze mace seems like a pretty substantial improvement for Fran. Yeah, it's not bad. What is what does the iron sword do for us again after you equip that? How good is the iron sword? Ah, uh, we'll leave it. He's fine. He's okay. good for now. Now the only thing I'm gonna say is I think check the check the uh, check the magic shop before we leave because honestly we don't, I don't want to mess with the armor right now because juggling armor and licenses in this game is a massive headache <laughs> that I just hate. But see if we can get any good spells. Uh, it's the purple one on your map, and then after that we'll head towards our objective. It's the purple sign you just passed it. There you are. There we go. <laughs> Remember, we're here to serve you. Ooh, get shell and protect. All right. I don't even know if we'll have anybody who can use them anytime soon, but I want them. All right. Uh, anything else in here we want? It looks like not. We're good. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to use shell or protect anytime. I guess once we get Pinello back in the party, since she's a white mage, we should be able to uh, we should be able to get those pretty quickly, I imagine. And they are really good. This is a curiosity thing, but in in this world, what is the like? What are you buying when you buy? Spell? No idea. All right. I can't can't answer that one for you. That's fine. Absolutely. Most no most games can't. Is this where we're going? Yes, that's I believe so anyway. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're going to the right place. I think maybe I was wrong. Open the map. <laughs> uh you wanna head uh yeah, to your right at this point. To my right? Yeah, and then head left. Nope, I was incorrect. Alrighty. Let's uh, go up head this up way. and to the right then. No, 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 like, the, like on the pathway. That's yeah, a gambit store, which we don't need. We have all the gambits we need for right now. I bought some gambits. Speaking of which, because uh, I, I did a bunch of changes off screen, uh, Freon now has a thing set where if there's an enemy that's fire weak, she'll just attack him with fire now. Good stuff. Uh, it's, it's, a lower, it's a higher priority than, like, attack uh, party targets, uh, party leader's target. But if there's somebody weak to fire, then she'll just do normal attacks. Okay, good stuff. Also, though it's not set, it's not on... Vaughn does have a gambit to attack one of the uh, enemies that are far that are farther away. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. 
Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Bujerba. Well, shall we proceed? Hmm. Lamont seems pretty knowledgeable. I wonder why. Lamont is also, he's, so I was talking before about Kites being a 12-year-old kid who's, like, fine, I guess. Lamont is actually one of the best characters in this game, and you should pop open and equip people in your party, because you have no one in your party right now except for Vaughn and Lamont. Okay. Speaking of which, you can take Vaughn out and make it just Balthier, Fran, and, and uh, Bosch if you want. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Like the game was intended. I mean, he just appeared out of the draw distance. That was incredible. You will forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the Magisite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. Ha! <laughs> you wear your saddle well. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Pujerba as well. Halim Ondor IV, the Marquis of Bujerba. The Marquis served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. They say he's been helping the resistance. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were again? What difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your... She's a friend. Girlfriend. She was Girlfriend. Taken here. Girlfriend. Well, what? Girlfriend. No, no, no. It's not like that. We're just really good friends. They never have that moment in this game. Thank God. They never, they never, like, really, their relationship never really progresses beyond where they are right now, but they also never go, what? No, we're just friends. Well, they could never. That's g g gross. It's like, it's like an unspoken thing, or like, that they're just too busy. <laughs> they don't have time. All right. What are these people? Just bats again. Oh, yeah, th this is nothing. Oh yeah, this is absolutely nothing. So nothing, in fact, that I think we should uh, we should probably cut the recording here for a little while, just to let you get a bit more distance through here, because nothing interesting is going to happen, and I think that's more than enough for one episode. So next time around, uh, we'll get around to uh, to rescuing Pinello, and we'll finally get a white mage back in our party. I went the wrong way. You'll figure it out eventually, Joey. One of these days.